Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. Today, we are gonna go try and find as many Rachis Gemstones filming locations here in Charleston and the surrounding area that we possibly can. Yeah, and if you watched our earlier video, we found this mural a few videos ago, and we are like, what does that have to do with this area? And so we did some research and we found some shooting locations. So check out that video up here, and if you like this kind of video, make sure to subscribe. And let's get going. Let's get righteous. Hallelujah. First stop on our gemstones tour. Look at all these budget trucks. And then they have these fleet rentals, I'm guessing to get people transported. But we're at the Gemstone Prayer Center. Let's go take a look. Now we're outside the Gemstones Prayer Center at Locust Grove. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You feel like going to church today? <laughs> so it's pretty cool. This is like right outside this mall. We'll show you some shots mm -hmm. of that in a second, but it's just right outside the mall. It's just a it's the Citadel Mall here in Charleston, and when they're not filming, you can actually go inside and see the interior, but it does look like they were filming. Pretty recently. Pre cause, yeah. Because there's about 20 budget trucks, a bunch of other transport trucks here. So I'm guessing it got shut down because of the rider strike, and they're probably in the middle of the season, so you probably can't, I mean, we're going to go look at the door, but I don't think we can go in there. Yeah. Uh, it's super cool, though. This yeah. is where they do all those things outside. It used to be a Sears, apparently, because I can see that behind the gemstones thing, but that is so cool. That is really cool. There's a ton more shops, stops that we're gonna make today with all the other places, but this is like the biggest one of them all here, I think, in Charleston, which I'm really excited to see what the other ones look like too. And what's crazy is just across the parking lot is the exterior that they used for the Gemstones studios. Now, it doesn't obviously say that they didn't change any of the stuff out here permanently, but literally right across the way is what they shot for the exterior for their studio. So it's really cool that it's all like right here. Yeah, little little area. Let's go take a closer look. Yeah. Look at that. Check out, they have the Gemstones Prayer Center on the door. And they have the company Mixed Bag Productions LLC. Fascinating. And you say what if you look? If you look inside, you can see like pews. Uh, and then like other props and stuff. That looks like I can't pews. really see much with the camera. It's got too much reflection. This is Gemstone Checkpoint 2. Around this way is like a huge garage where they definitely bring in all of like the props and stuff into the building. There's like just a huge door. And then this way, there's the rest of the mall over there. So this is what it looks like from the inside. They just kind of built a doorway at the Sears. So you can't see what they're doing inside, and obviously probably to keep the noise down too when they're filming. Fascinating. Oh, they even have like shims to keep the wall up, and that's interesting too. So again, here's the Gemstones place. We're off to our next one, which is right across the way to Gemstones Studios. Something really cool too is how they clean the building. So this part's all clean, and then this part's a little backlit, so hopefully you can see it, but this part down here is really dirty. We're gonna go back here for a second and show you the area that I was talking about earlier. It's kind of, it's really fascinating. Here's that big door that I was telling you about. That's where they get everything into the building. This is that backside. This is fascinating. I've never been this close to an active set before filming. Really neat. And you can see it's kind of cleaned on this side, but not so much. <laughs> oh, there's another entrance too. Fascinating. We are still by the Gemstone Studios, but there's the South Point Plaza. That is where they film Baby Billy's Bible Bumpus. I'm going to mess that up 400 times during this video, I guarantee it. Check out all the really nice green space around it. And then there she is. That is the Gemstones recording studio. So normally this is MUSC reserved parking, so this must be an MUSC building, but there is the front of Gemstone Studios. <laughs> so cool. So this is where they film Baby Billy's Bible Bombers. And also all of the exterior shots for the 
services that they have, I guess. I don't, I don't know if that's what you call them, but the shows that they put on. And then again, there's the Gemstones Prayer Center is right over there. So there's not a whole lot to see here. It's just the exterior of the building, but it's still really cool to check out, especially if you're in the Charleston area and you want to like kind of see something that was used in film production. So next up, we're going to go find our next location. So we're back to the first location where we realized that the Righteous Gemstone may film here. Here's that mirror that we talked about from a few videos ago. Check out the, oh my gosh, there's two of them. Check out the old school buses that we found on our Righteous Gemstone tour. That's definitely when uh, misbehaving was popular. As Nancy said, there's an overhead view of the studios behind those trees that just covered it, but it's right there. And there's where the Gemstones uh, Prayer Center too is, right there. We've made it to the Aviation Square Shopping Center. This is in North Charleston. And this is from season one, where he meets the guy that was tailgating him. And then they also come back to pay the ransom in this parking lot. So that is where that shot was filmed, is here, from season one. I think what makes that shot so pivotal too is that it's the scene where he runs over the guy. And then they have that whole pivotal scene where he runs over the guy thinking that he's dead. And so they have that whole kind of like inner dialogue of whether they killed the guy or not later on in the first season. I think that's what makes this so pivotal. It's pretty cool. It's a regular shopping center, but it's super cool. And I think they filmed this shot at night, right? Yes. Yeah. It's right by the at-home store, if you're looking for it. And then there's just a blank store over there. That's a pretty cool building for the credit union. One of the things I find fascinating is how like close everything is together. And this is only like three miles away, the next location we're going to. And you said something too. So I think it's interesting, like I wonder who actually scoped all these places out because somebody has to go and look for exterior shots that would be good to use or like location. So somebody was like, yeah, this looks like a perfect sketchy place to have a sketchy meeting at night. And yeah, this place is sketch, very sketch. <laughs> yeah, it is in the ghetto. Another shot of the parking lot. I'm not exactly sure where the shot took place. My guess is a little bit further out by this, like, Leslie Pools and stuff. Come over here to this light. Yeah. But you can see it's a huge parking lot, so easy filming. <laughs> There's a buffet. That looks like it's closed right next to it. There's the main road. I feel like $12.99 for that buffet is probably too much money. I don't even know if they're still open. Oh yeah, they are open. Yeah, they are still open. It doesn't even say what kind of buffet it is. Apparently it used to have a breakfast buffet, I'm guessing, that they blocked out. It used to be $8.99, yo. We are coming up on two of the big filming locations. Well, one's not so big, but anyways. This embassy suite we're gonna check out. This is where they filmed the interaction between... Judy. Judy and her husband and meeting their family. Well, meeting BJ's family. BJ's a weird character. I like him now. He's grown on me. I didn't really like him the first two seasons, but now after the third season, I actually really like him. I felt the same way about Judy. There's the Coliseum in the distance. That's where they film all the interior shots for the gemstones services and stuff. But here is the hotel, which is attached right to it. Oh, there's an SUV. That's exactly like the SUV that uh, he was driving John Goodman around in. Somebody else's SUV, but it looks exactly the same. And there's the Embassy Suites. Now, what were you saying about Judy, Nacy? Judy's grown on me. Judy's crazy. Judy's psycho. But I like her. Because she's, I don't know, she doesn't seem, like, she tries to take herself seriously, but then it, like, backfails, backfires on her. And she has to, like, figure her shit out. And she's, like, she's trying to figure her shit out. And I get that. So, much respect to Judy. Again, no, she's crazy. And I'm a little crazy, too. Another shot of the outside of that embassy suites. It's right by the military base. It is probably one of the nicer hotels we've seen, like bigger-wise, in this area, so it kind of makes sense why they picked this one. Mm -hmm. The uh, North Charleston Coliseum and Performing Arts Center, which is where they shoot the interior shots of the church. Yeah. You can kind of tell from the outside looking at it, that's what the inside of the church looks like. It's got that big old circle where they stood in the middle and then the whole crowd was kind of around them. And also the scenes where they're like skating and stuff inside. Mm -hmm. 
here is the Coliseum a little closer up. It's a little bit backlit right now because of the sun. But it's the North Charleston Coliseum. One of my favorite scenes is when they're like uh, skating behind there. It's all empty and they come in on like the off days and they're like skating around and just thinking what it's like to be that wealthy to have this big of space just to hang out in. Yeah. <laughs> but, but also the, um, the services and stuff they do when they walk in, it's really cool. Now what were you saying about the location? So this is actually the most prominent filming location for both one, two, seasons one, two, and three for the show. So this is the most used filming location for the show out of all the places that we're going. This is, this is it. Because they shoot all of that interior church footage and all of that, all of that is shot here. Yeah, the whole season three, the relationship stuff, all of those scenes were filmed here, as well as like the underground scenes, I'm betting. Like they were probably filmed in like the bowels where they were talking about beating the guy up and then, you know, you get to see the penis shots and that one later on. But yeah, it's pretty cool to actually like come out here and actually see where they, they film it. Now, obviously we can't go inside because it's not open to the general public, but it's still cool to come out here. And honestly, I would come back and like go stay at that Embassy Suites just to be like, I stayed. Well, and it's the nicest hotel we've seen in Charleston so yeah. far, and so, For sure. well, yeah, check it out. Really cool. A little glow of sun over the top, kissing the rim of the righteous gemstones. Kiss the rim. Let's go take a little bit closer look, and then we're going to head out with this one. It even has, like, a walkway from that uh, Embassy Suites where they filmed the other shot at. That was a piece of cake. There's the Performing Arts Center right across the way from it. So it just kind of connects over right next to the Coliseum. And there's that Embassy Suites in the distance. Here is one of the cooler sites, the suspension bridge. There's one of those little buses. Yeah, there's another one of those little buses. Miss B Haven. It's a big uh... Oh wow, yeah. There's a big barge heading out. See, I told you there were some big uh, piers on the other side. A port, I should say, on the other side. Look at that thing, that is massive. Whew. There's that aircraft carrier right there. You can kind of see it through the glip glops. But here is the suspension bridge. It is really high. And we're in Mount Pleasant, heading to our next filming location. Now this used to be a Sticky Fingers. There's some old people, they look like they look work for the gemstones. Uh, but this used to be a Sticky Fingers, I guess, and this is the outside shooting shot for that restaurant that they used. You can still see. They call it Gwen's of Mount Pleasant now. So we weren't really sure, but this is supposed to be the location. This is Gwen's now of Mount Pleasant. This used to be a Sticky Fingers. We're going to check around the backside because we're pretty sure that's where the shots come from. And it's called Jason's Steakhouse in the episode. And maybe Nacy, once we find the water feature, can talk a little bit about after church lunches. All right, so that's what the shot looks like in the show. There's no real water here. We did find some water on the other side of this uh, grocery store that we're gonna check out. But I thought maybe it was this building right here, but it doesn't, that looks too kind of like old woody. It does kind of look like the Gwen's place. It's just the Gwen's had some facelifts. This right here is the White Duck Taco Shop. I think it's one of the possibilities. I'm not really 100% sure. Did you say something? Yeah. I feel like it's gotta be this one. Yeah, I, I'm leaning towards this. But it was supposed to be closed down, so this is obviously a new restaurant here. And they could have done some remodeling, which is why it doesn't look exactly like it does from Gemstones. I would agree. We're gonna do a little bit more investigation and talk with more. So this is Gwen's. This is where the address and a lot of the stuff that we're reading leads us to. It doesn't seem right. This seems like it. This front right here with a different paint scheme and a little bit of remodel. Seems like this would be it. White Duck Taco Shop. I think this is Jason's Steakhouse. One of my favorite scenes at the Jason's Steakhouse is in the third season. They come here on their own without their dad and it's not a Sunday. And they go upstairs to their favorite location and the table and stuff's not set up. And they're like, wow, there's no table normally here? Like they don't get that they're so rich and so famous in that little town that they literally do things and set them up for them. They just think it's always like that. I think that's a fascinating sort of critique on wealth. <laughs> yeah. And I love that line, like it's not normally like this. Uh, so that's fascinating. But let's hear Nacy's take on the 
after church lunches? Typically, my family, nine times out of ten, we would go out to eat after church, and you would be so hungry by the time church got out. Usually it was like noon or one o'clock, and we always went, there's a place in Cape Coral called Iguanamia. That was where we went all the time, but it was like a fellowship kind of thing. Like when church was over, you would have like your group, your little clique of people, and your whole group would show up like 20 to 30 people to a restaurant and uh, probably drive them mad and never tip them. So that is why servers don't like church people on Sundays. But yeah, we always would go out to eat after church on Sundays, even Wednesdays and Saturday nights too. So bringing it back to the Righteous Gemstone, so that's a pretty good interpretation of after church get together? I would say so, yeah, 100%. Like, I think the show definitely mirrors how I grew up in the evangelical power churches. I think it's funny too, all the money that they have and they go to this like Jason's Steakhouse, which is clearly like a Ponderosa slash all you can eat buffet knockoff type of place. And it's mm -hmm. like they have all this money, but they pretend not to, so that when they bring their people around, they don't have to take them to too fancy of a restaurant. That and too, I think even uh, deep down, they just they like the simpleness of it. Like they think they're being fancy, but really they're not. So this is the village point. This is where they say the Jason Steakhouse is. They say it's the Glens from most of the articles we're reading, which is right over there. But really, I really do feel like it's this white duck taco place. I really do. Now we're heading into Shim Creek Park. To check out another filming location. Let's check the boardwalk out. This area was used in season two when Eli meets one of his friends. So that is where this filming location originates from, but they also use this a lot for the Netflix show Outer Banks. So this may look familiar if you guys watch the Netflix show Outer Banks as well. But it's really pretty out here, like really pretty. Something about like marsh wetlands. I don't know, I guess it kind of feels a little bit like home. I see there's actually somebody out there paddleboarding right now. It's kind of funny. There's a puppy on the front. There's a puppy on the front. Look at him. Oh, look at the puppy. Marsh just goes on and on and on. That's crazy. And it's on the other side too. There's some restaurants and stuff over here. A lot of paid parking. Charleston has a lot of paid parking. Here's one more shot of that park. That's the boardwalk. That's the boardwalk. All right, that concludes our righteous pilgrimage around Charleston. Yeah, it was really fun. There's several more locations, but they're kind of a little further out or a little harder to get to. So who knows, maybe we'll do a righteous pilgrimage part two in the future. But for now, we are gonna end it here. And if you want to check out Righteous Gemstones, make sure to check out HBO Max, Max, whatever it's called now, mm -hmm. and uh, check out the show. It's just finished its third season, and hopefully it'll get new, renewed for a fourth. Yeah, and uh, hopefully the writer's strike, you know, wraps up soon and people get what they deserve. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And ring that notification bell so you get notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you guys for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth. Bye, Bye. everybody.